today is match day minus two. We'll play Miami here on Monday. If we were back in New York, it would be well, match day minus two. We would come up, have the journalists at CFA. Uh, they would observe the entire training session, and then at the end, talk to to players and and Ronnie at the training ground. Here in the bubble, they're they're not allowed to do that. So we have to do it all over video conferencing here in the uh, media hub. You just have to mask his face, though, unfortunately. How do I drink my coffee? <laughs> like that. <laughs> Perfect. All right, guys, we got uh, um, Alex ready here. Uh, just give it a second. So I'm there on the Zoom chat with, uh, with all the journalists, kind of just moderating it. So making sure the journalists know when they're, they're going to be asking questions, texting them you know, in the background, making sure they still have questions. If they don't have a question, then you can pass it on. So we're just in constant communication with the people on the Zoom chat, making sure that uh, they know when their question's coming up because, you know, when you're, you're in a group kind of scrum in general, you can kind of play off each other. You don't have to kind of moderate like that. But when you have 11 people, 10 people, whatever it was today, that they kind of need a little bit more direction just so people aren't cross-talking. So it's kind of playing a little bit of traffic cop, uh, making sure everyone gets their questions, first of all, making sure Technology's working and just to keep it uh, running smoothly. Yeah, of course, we're we're still uh, learning the way he wants to play too. It's not like uh, we were on the pitch for three months either, you know. <laughs> so. All right. And then last Thank question you. here for Alex to Jake. I'm unmuted now, right? So it's day four of MASH. Um, I always like to plan ahead and make sure I have everything organized and ready to go the day before, um, and especially with the 9 a.m. start, um, just just going to get a, a jump on it. So I have a Pelican case over here that I keep all the gear and just keep it protected, um, especially with all the traveling and stuff, making sure um, lenses and, and cameras don't get knocked up. So just given that the, the circumstances are a little bit different here at the uh, MLS SPAC tournament, um, we're not at big stadiums like we usually are, so just trying to travel light, um, put everything in a backpack or just carrying it, uh, making it a little bit easier on match day. I think when I first started and I knew I was going to be around the team pretty often, um, you know, taking photos and, and all that, um, I knew it was important, not just to, to players, but also to staff. This is their life too, you know, and, and it's a moment in their history. So I knew early on that I, I wanted to make sure that everyone felt comfortable around me and that um, no one felt scared or nervous to have a camera in their face. So I knew it was really important just to create those connections early on. Always make sure I have my hat. This new flow gets in the way. It's It's been great. I mean, I'm... At first, I would say I'm pretty shy. So when I started here, it was um, it was really out of my comfort zone. Just you know, at events and stuff like asking people to post for pictures and and that sort of thing. So personally, I think I've come a long way since you know my first few you know games and events and stuff. But um, it's been good. Like the the players, you know, they know me well at this point because I've been around so much and and. You know, we we have a squad that's been here for a while, but at the end of the day, they're they're people, and it was important for me just to treat them like people, and you know, not treat them like superstar athletes or or celebrities, and just be real with them. And I I think they respect that a lot. Is again, it just it adds to that trust, and and you know, when you're real with them, they'll be real with you. So you get in on the banter and the jokes and and all of that. So um, that's it's been great. And the culture that we have here at NYCFC is that, you know, we're all one team and we're together and it's a family. So um, I'm grateful that the players allow that and the staff allow me to be around as much and our whole digital team to just be as involved, you know, in that team atmosphere as we are. Um, and again, with, with time and with trust, um, that's when you get, you know, the, the good content that we're able to get. My normal routine on a game day, uh, I usually get there anywhere from three to four hours ahead of time, just depending on the game. I'd like to, to get myself situated, get comfortable, 
do some laps around the stadium and see what kind of new angles we could find. Um, uh, I like to go early too, just to to get my bearings and figure out the kind of spaces that we're in and, and such. And once the guys arrive, it's pretty much just full swing from there, from arrivals and getting ready in the locker room, warm-ups, um, all the way up until kickoff. It's it's pretty much a time crunch from there. And then when the game starts, that's that's when all the fun happens. Just got player arrivals. Gonna edit a few quick ones. Um, send it back to Team New York to post on Twitter, Instagram, all that. Um, and I'll probably jump in the locker room and see what's going on in there. I've always liked shooting more just as a fly on the wall. I don't really, I don't like to pose people for things too much. You know, if, if it's fans in the stands, it's different. But um, with, with players especially, I just kind of let them do their thing and, and stay out of the way um, and just kind of shoot what's happening and, and give it more of a behind the scenes look. I can try to encourage them to go one way or another with goal celebrations, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not up to me, it's up to them and, and the, the heat of the moment and the game. But again, the, the, the thing I'm trying to do when I'm out at the games, um, no matter where they are, is to just give fans as much of an inside look as, as we can and, and show it as close to real time as, as possible. I'm grateful to be surrounded by people that encourage me and encourage what I do and support what I do. And that's from players to staff to everyone in the front office and, and all the fans and even just other photographers that I know. There's so much support and encouragement. And for me, with my family being from New York City and New Jersey and all that, like it's so much more meaningful to me to be doing what I do in New York City in a place that's so close to home. I always tell everyone that I have the coolest job in the world and I'm grateful that I that I get to do that all the time. We won. That's the most important part. The boys did what they had to do. And uh, just just working through some quick photos to send back to the guys in New York. Um, and then we go back to the hotel and we wait, I guess. <laughs>